In this exercise, we are going to practice creating logical statements. So if you have been following us from our website, so kindly download file number 2, sheet 1. Under column F, there is a comment there that tells us that if the performance review score is below 90, then indicate here as fail, otherwise pass. So it means that the cell could display either fail or pass depending on the score of that person. These kinds of problems require us to create logical statements. To start, of course, equal sign. The function that we need is if, open parenthesis. Then we are going to create the logical test. If the performance review score C4 is less than 90, comma, so this is the logical test. This is what we are checking out. This is our question. Is C4, not B4, not D4, not E4, but C4, is C4 less than 90, then Excel should show fail. We are putting quotation marks because fail, as discussed previously, is text. Therefore, it must be inside quotation marks. If the answer is not fail, if C4 is not less than 90, then the answer should be pass. And that's it. So whenever you are creating logical statements, you just have to complete these three parts. The logical test, which is the question that you are checking out, is C4 less than 90? If the answer is true, then that's the next argument. If the answer is false, that's the final argument. It always has three arguments. The logical test, what if the answer is yes, what if the answer is no. In that order, you cannot swap the two. Again, once you've entered it, you could make it cascade all the way down by double-clicking the fill handle. Let's have another exercise. Still on the same sheet, the next column, I'm going to hide this comment. And then I'm going to display this one. Okay, let me just uh, read the instruction here. It says, if a person is full-time, then allowance is 1,000, otherwise 500. Okay, so I, again, the cell could display either 1,000 or 500 depending on the person's status. So that would be if, open parenthesis, if the person is a full-time employee, so that would be cell D4. We don't care about the other cells, but D4. We don't even need the name. We just need the status of that person. If D4 is equal to full-time, so we have to type it. It's uh, text, so therefore we must use quotation marks. It's sensitive when it comes to spelling. So if there's a space in the status, then you must put a space as well. However, case is not required. So for example, I could still use small letters if I want, even if the status here is in proper case. Comma. What would be the answer? If D4 is full-time, then the cell should display 1,000. It's a number, so we do not put quotation marks. Otherwise, if it's not 1,000, it's going to be 500. Enter. And it's 1,000 because this person is full-time. Let's try out the others. The next person got 1,000 because it's again full-time. Next, we have contract and it's 500 in our cell here because the rule is that you have to get 1,000 if you are full-time. Otherwise, any other statuses would result to 500. So Excel reporting correct answer is shown here. So again, logical statement. What if true? What if false? And to complete this worksheet, 
let's answer the next one we're going to hide we're going to show this comment and it says here if the person has been with the company for more than 12 months bonus is 1000 otherwise 500 so again if the person has been with the company for more than 12 months so we are concerned about the tenure or the number of months the customer has been with the company not the employee code not the name not the score not the status we are concerned about the months in the company and that is cell e4 if e4 is more than 12 then the bonus is 1000 comma otherwise if it's not 1000 then it's 500 then close again we've completed the logical statement if e4 is more than 12 1000 if not 500 separated by commas enter double click and there you have it and to complete our worksheet the last one though not a logical statement says here we want to find the sum of allowance and bonuses so that would be equals sum open parenthesis and then we need to get the two numbers so you just have to click the first number and then since they are adjacent to one another we just have to drag the mouse in order to create the range that we want to add g4 to h4 close enter 1500 because that's 1500 added together double click and problem is now solved